It was not fake. I knew that. I can tell you right now why I knew immediately it wasn't fake. I had been trained in all of the, the uh, deceptive practices of all of the, you know, the, I was a, my three target languages was Russian, Spanish, and Persian. Okay? I had been trained in the deceptive practices of, of, uh, of voice communications. The Russians were the best at it. Okay? And there was no indication of that anyway. But there are other things that I can show you that will tell you this, that it could not have been faked. Okay? So after, uh, I admitted when I told Stephen, I said, I said, Stevie, we need to get a hold of these tapes and we need to slow it down. You'll hear how fast it is. I said, we need to slow it down like Dad used to do in the Navy. So after a, a quite a bit of detective work, I had a person finally contact me and say, this is who you need to get a hold of. This crazy guy in Mariposa, California named Ron Moorhead. <laughs> and, uh, no, she didn't say that. I, I, I didn't find that out until we were on the mountain again. <laughs> Of course, he didn't find out that about me either until we were on the mountain together. But anyway, I finally got a hold of Ron. After about a half hour on the phone, I convinced him I was not a crackpot, like he had been dealing with for 35 years. And uh, in two days, I had two CDs in the mail. The Al Berry tapes, what I now refer to, he calls them, we still call them the Sierra Sounds, of course, but I refer to them as the, uh, the Barry Morgan tapes um, in the transcriptions. Um, so I had those two CDs in the mail within two days and uh, spent the next four months transcribing. You'll see why, it, you'll see, hopefully when I demonstrate the methodology of transcription, you'll see why it takes so long. You have to be so meticulous about it. Right? Um, after that, I've got, the, I've got them done. Uh, Ron invited me out to meet them in California, so we drove out and sat down with Ron in his uh, dining room there. He handed me a beer, and um, first thing I asked him, I said, Ron, I can't believe, uh, because by that time, in those four months, I had read every Bigfoot book I could get a hold of. Because I, I couldn't believe that me as a linguist had never heard of any such a thing. And every Bigfoot book I read, there was not, not one mention of language. Not even, in, not even a hint. And uh, at that time, the big science versus legend book had just come out. I went through that back and forth. Not a hint of the word language in any of it. So the first question I, I First question I asked Ron and Alice, I said, Ron, how, how could, I can't believe that I'm the first guy. These tapes were made in 1972 and 1974. I can't believe that I'm the first guy that recognized that there is a language in, embedded in these sounds. And Ron kind of looked over at, over at Al and looked back at me and says, Scott, we always do. You're kidding. He said, yes, we knew, we knew in right away that they were speaking to themselves, and in a couple of cases, they were trying to speak to us in a language that was, of course, uh, completely could not be understood. Okay. So <laughs> that was in that was in 2008. And we've been working on this ever since. Still collecting as much evidence and data as we can. So one of the first things I'd like to do is go ahead and just let you listen to a few minutes, a couple minutes of this at real time. Now that's crypto-linguistic talk for the time, or the speed, I should say, at which it was recorded. And the speed at which I heard 
these sounds at for the first time. And you will see, it does sound like Abe's fighting. It sounds like gibberish. But however, gibberish is another thing. Actually, gibberish implies language as well. Because gibberish, uh, in order for a person to produce gibberish, you must first understand that a, an utterance has specific semantic meaning before he can create an utterance that has no semantic meaning. So if you're talking, I get that all the time in the question thing, how do you know it's not gibberish? <sighs> gibberish, you're making my point for me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, so, um, let me just run a, a few minutes here at real time, and then we'll go back. Well, I'll pick out specific little <laughs> utterances, that, that, and then I will show you the methodology of transcription that I was taught in the name. I spent too much time doing it. Um, and then we'll, we'll go back, we isolate it, we loop it, and we begin to slow it down. And then you will also begin to hear the specific morphine screams. Okay? <coughs> We'll uh, fast forward to some of this dead space. Now, what begins to happen? Oh, he gets aggressive. 
here for the end of this.
And I don't think, I don't think those have any linguistic semantic meaning. It's, 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 it's off. Excuse my baby talk. like humans do when we're upset and, you know, we talk faster when we're nervous or, or whatever. Um, and I kept getting the question is, well, are you saying that because they speak at twice the speed of humans that they're twice as intelligent as human beings? I said, no, I never said any of that. 
you know, but it was always a problem until about four or five years ago, after listening, you know, for 10 years to these sound, going over and over and over them, I discovered something that makes perfect sense that I, I wish I had realized in the beginning. They are articulating, they are creating utterances on the pant. Now what that means is on the inhale. We humans, now we, yeah, we humans can do it, but it's extremely difficult for us, and it doesn't make any sense. In other words, they are, they're not taking a breath. Well, yes, they are taking a breath, but at the same time, they are creating utterance. They don't stop their, their articulations when they have to uh, breathe inward. So that's one new thing that's happened in the last few years with this, is, you know, human. Damn, those cheeks are not performing. What? I want them to. No, we can do it. Right? But it's impossible. And sometimes I do do that when I'm watching the Then I have to now almost pass out. <laughs> These creatures are doing it with ease. It's, it's natural to them. 